everyone, welcome back to Small Raft. So, last episode, I said we were going to do a bunch of stuff between episodes, and then I decided, no, I don't want to come back and have you guys look at the boat and be like, hey, why is everything completely different? So today, we're going to do a huge building and upgrade episode. Uh, we might go to the biodome today, but I'm not sure yet. Um, basically, what I got to do is we need a ton of wood. We need to start reinforcing all of our raft and upgrading this to the from the crappy wood to the better wood. And I have started building the, the front of the ship. Um, basically, I just laid this out and I started reinforcing some of this because I didn't want the shark to break these while I was kind of planning this front end. Now, it looks super janky and super weird, but if I go over to this island, which we're going to raid for resources pretty quick here. Let me get out of the water. Come on. All right, so you can kind of see, again, it looks a little janky, but eh, it'll work, I think. So we kind of have this, like, front, like, started to, like, I don't know what the word is. Tear off, peer, peer off, peek off, turn into a peak. I don't know. It, it kind of, like goes into the point and i kind of did it so, sort of slowly um i also want to you can see these ones appear a little bit higher so i want our main level to be level with our floor now but i want the front to kind of go up a little bit um kind of like one tier just like a step somewhere in there so it kind of gets a little bit of a, a dimension lift a level lift i don't know the words i can't speak but in order to do that we need so many resources so you can see our iron stock, we've got about 20 ore and about four smelted. Oh, I've got 24 ore actually, and four smelted. I've got four more smelted here. And our wood stock, empty. We need so much wood. We've got a good amount of plastic, but like we've got one storage chest. This is nowhere near enough. So our storage needs an upgrade. Uh, we've got three engines here. We need two more on this side that are also protected with the fortified floor. We need um, a metal detector because I would like to reinforce all this back stuff, but I don't want to do that until we get these advanced collection nets, which need titanium. We also need the engine controls and the battery charger, which also needs titanium, which is why we're at this island and it's turning into nighttime. With morning here, we are going to make the metal detector. And I don't know if I showed everybody, but we have the backpack now. So we have a little bit of expanded slots uh, for collecting resources. And with the metal detector, we can now go ahead, go to this island, and start pulling out treasure. Bam! Ooh. Oh, it's a safe. I think that's exactly what we wanted. Ooh, three titanium and some hinges. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good find. With the titanium smelting, we have other work to do because there's no point in having this um, to do like our engine controls and the advanced nets until first of all we can protect the nets and the engine controls we need our proper platform uh this will not be where our controls go i want them kind of centralized maybe like here-ish somewhere but we got to finish this floor we got to finish this floor um i want to finish the front and put the walls in this thing to kind of get it like somewhat you know enclosed um so yeah let's go for uh a little bit of a building resource gathering montage. You know, if the shark's not attacking, it's raining. Every time it's raining. Or our boat's underwater, apparently. I don't know what is with these waves, but our boat is like clearly underwater a lot. Anyhow, the boat, the bottom part here is pretty much done. It's got a few weird spots. There's a few janky things I need to work on, but we've got it filled and that's the important part. So what I got to do now is we do have to, he actually broke this part. I have one spot on either side that isn't protected yet because I ran into materials and, and he broke it. Really dude? So we do protect this obviously. And I am thinking about actually putting a walkway uh, along the side here on the outside and putting like a cover on the wheels just because they look a little weird but that's going to come in a little bit we are trying to get up in the boat uh we're trying to get more materials actually i have run out of metal again i've got well, i got 11 here but we need it for a bunch of stuff uh i do have a lot of plastic now and we have a decent amount of wood so we can do the walls and kind of build this up um i've gone ahead and i've started framing out the engine part here we do need to put two more engines on this as now 
because of the size of our boat, we actually need all four engines to run. We can't, if we only use three, it doesn't power our boat. We're too big. So I don't think we need six, but we're going to put six because unless update three has changed something, six is the max, uh, like that the power any size boat basically. Um, other than that, I haven't started working on the roof. Sorry, the first floor, I guess. I haven't done anything with that. I haven't done anything else with planning here. I have made some more storage though, but that's only because we've got some things I want to build. I've got four titanium. I've actually got uh, seven titanium now. So I want to make, I want to start working on this fuel tank, the fuel pipes, the fuel refiner, and kind of get that worked out a little bit. I also want to get our battery charger going because um, we're we, we need to start smelting stuff not smelting uh scrapping stuff uh we keep running out of batteries we keep making them i think i got four or five that are dead we need to power this thing because i'm sick of watering all this stuff myself every time it's super annoying and we keep running out of battery here and it's just a mess biofuel refiner is made so let's plop this thing down now i don't think there's a way to like connect a pipe to this like if i put this here it doesn't seem to connect and i don't i didn't see a connection on the back so I think we have to, can I not pick that up? Hello? There we go, okay. Um, I don't think, I think we have to do this like manually and we need, is it just raw potatoes or is it just raw food? So it's just raw food and then this I think needs honey. So we're gonna have to build the uh, beehives, which we haven't done any yet. Uh, we've 15 bee jars, oh. Okay, we need a lot of bees because I'm pretty sure we've got four. So that's a problem. But we do have a decent amount of food. We do need to make a lot of crop plots so we can um, start getting way more food. And unfortunately, I bought this crop plot, uh, the large one, the advanced one, with the um, from the fishing thing. But all it does is make it look fancy. It, it's not anything faster or better. So I, I don't know if I'll build more of them because if you look at here, where is it? This one takes six nails and one bolt. This one takes 12 and one bolt. So it takes more nails. Actually, that's not bad, I guess. It's just, it takes more wood and a little bit more nails. Okay, I thought it was bad. I thought it was more bolts as well. But maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was. Okay, and then we can put the fuel tanks, because they don't hook up, I think we're gonna put the fuel tanks back here. And what I might do is I might, can I lift them? I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, let's use this. If I put this here like that, put this there. And then if I run fuel pipes from here, I'm kind of thinking maybe we go like, uh, this first one's gonna kind of suck, isn't it? Can I not connect it? You don't want to connect, huh? Let's see. You don't want to connect this way. Okay. If I put this in there, then it seems to work. So if I put another floor, oh, this one will work. Now it works, okay. so. The way to do this, I got it to work kind of like, well, that's really, really janky. Maybe I will lower this after, but I want this running on top like this. And the only way to make it work that I can figure out. So you can go up uh, like that. I can go up one more there. But then I can't go over off of these. So what I have to do is I have to put a floor here and then go up top and then I can put these across. And then if I break the floor, those will stay. I kind of want them to be up on top of here, though, to be honest. I think this will work. I'm not 100% sold on it yet, but I think this is okay. So I've put the pipes across this top little thing, and I need this walkway here because I want to put these walls. So, like, it, we needed these to be able to put, um, like, in the center here, I want to put these walls going up, right, as we actually finish our design here. So I need to have a floor here to support it because there's nothing supporting on the outside because of the where the engines are So if I put that there we have this space and I think that's the best way to fill it is with um, these pipes And then I've actually lowered this to kind of make this look a little bit better It's not perfect, but it, but it does help now for right now I have to keep this open because I need to be able to activate these engines um, And then obviously the direction we want that to be open as well, but eventually we're gonna make this where is it? We'll make the engine controls and we just need a lot more titanium. So once we do that, hopefully we can actually cover this whole thing all the way up and then not see the outside from here and make this like really sealed. I think that'll be okay. Uh, we might end up moving the fuel tanks eventually because they're kind of far from the biofuel stuff, but I do like how they're like kind of tucked away in the corner here. 
And then we just need a better place for our battery charger. It takes biofuel and we can plug it into the fuel system. So yeah, we might have a better place for this in the future, but for now it's gonna work. So I found a slight problem. Uh, it's basically that I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. And these are actually backwards from this side cause like they're flipped. So there's no space to put a fuel tank here. Um, yeah. So what we're gonna do instead, we're actually gonna redesign this. I don't know why, but I, I was trying to build this with like small spots. We have lots of space. We have nothing but space and we're gonna go up from here. So there's no reason to cram all this stuff in. We need to move all of this stuff. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our fuel tanks here. We might be able to put, well, we'll put at least three and we might even move these doors. We really don't have any need to have a door here. Cause what we'll do eventually is like somewhere up here, maybe we'll put like ladders coming down. So we don't have to access this from the back and we could use this for, you know, bigger farm area or bigger something. I don't know, but we've got lots of space. So yeah, let's not worry about this. So I've discovered something kind of weird. And obviously the intention for these things is not to be able to clip pipes through walls. I mean, that's usually for game makers that don't want to do that, but here we can do it. Uh, we have the engine here and we can clip through to this pipe. But if I go up top here, I was thinking about trying to put like these uh, roof pieces here. So that way we can uh, like, you know, kind of hide this, this little area. So if I put a pipe here, it'll connect. If I put it there, it connects, right? So if I remove it now, and if I put a roof or a wall, I'm just gonna put a wall for an example. So if I put a wall here and then I put this, you can see it doesn't connect. It actually divides it. So you could have multiple like running side by side here, I guess, but it doesn't connect in now and then if i break this it still doesn't connect so i actually have to re-break this and then connect it and then it'll come over so it's kind of strange i'm not gonna lie the grind level is real right now but we've made some pretty good progress so i've got this all kind of the right height that i want it to be um up here we might go up one that way on the next floor we have like a step up to the front kind of area i think that looks pretty cool but this is going to be the height of our like below deck area. So all this needs to be filled in with floor. Basically we'll have a few spots. I don't know where, where we put ladders and you know, I was kind of thinking initially, I thought maybe we'd like take these doors out, but I kind of like having this access to the back. So you can come in here, come into like the fuel room, whatever this is going to be. Um, so I put the two tanks here. Jesus, this water is live, uh, li high live loud. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Yeah, we're sinking. Apparently we're sinking. <laughs> um, we might put another tank in the center here and I'm not sure what we'll like, what we'll do to fill this stuff. If anything, I don't know. Uh, I've got these kind of like all like making this look nice down here. These little areas I've kind of left open just cause I don't have a better way to hide the pipes. And it's not a big deal. I think this looks pretty decent and it'll look even better once we uh, start upgrading this stuff to the solid wood. Now this kind of gets confusing because if we upgrade this stuff to the wood, like if I was to put, where is it? If I was to go here, it says it takes six to do it. Same with the upgrade. It'll say like, hey, you need to put six pieces to upgrade this. But if I was to do this, let's see. So I've got 20, 20, 20, and one. And if I upgrade this, it only took four. So I guess it takes the difference, but it, I don't know because the difference, like this one says four. So like, I don't know what number it actually takes to upgrade this. And it's really weird because I want to upgrade everything, including the floors. And those take, let's see if I go here, that actually takes plastic and uh, wood. And again, same thing. If I put 20 here, so all I have in my inventory is 20 right now, right? And if I upgrade this, it only took two but it says it's gonna take three. So I don't know what it's taking to actually upgrade this. But if it's taking two, we need a lot of wood and we have enough plastic, but we need a hell of a lot of wood because this is all I got. We need stupid bees. Okay, there's one and come on, come lower. Yeah, perfect. All right, so I had to come back a long ways I boated around for so long trying to find bees. So I've gone to two islands now. I actually went back and put the coordinates in for the Balboa Island. Hey, there's a llama here. Um, for the Balboa Island, because this isn't it, but it's similar. Um, because we couldn't find bees. I was struggling to find them. And so I've got nine here, and I think I've got 12 on the boat. 
but we need them to get the beehives and i don't know is there more that's a bear um i don't know if like the beehives produce bees or not and we need a way to like get more beehives so i don't know if like the only way is to get them on these islands or what but we definitely need more because oh that goes that what's up um because we need a couple beehives so we can get this honey so we can make biofuel i'm still here hours later i'm just free floating in this lovely blue ocean just killing time uh i'm just trying to get wood basically i'm growing trees which they're currently not growing because i didn't replant because i'm not paying attention um one thing i'm trying to do though is try to get this floor done so all the edges are done i've kind of got this like how i want it to go up a little bit here to kind of get a different profile i've been changing the look of this a little bit so if i go up on top uh you can see i kind of like angle these a little bit so it looks better from the top it looks a little weird from the front i don't want to jump in quite yet because i'll probably end up missing the boat and then we'll you know float into nothingness and and lose the boat um but the one thing that i'm struggling with is how i want to place the bottom stuff i don't know how i want to do like rooms and stuff down here yet so like this wall uh if you put so when you're building stuff if you put um these triangle pieces here it lets you extend your wall out one so this doesn't need a support normally it's only one from either a pillar or a wall you get one out then you have to do another one and you need a support here to for, for this piece but if you do this method you can go out by two the problem is i'm getting a hole in the very center every couple so this will be a hole here there'll be one you know three or four blocks over so i gotta reposition these but i don't know how i want to do it because i don't know how i want to do like a hallway like i'm thinking this should be the hallway maybe but then like I'd have to have a pillar in the center here so i don't know exactly how to do this yet so we might have a few holes in the floor what is this a tiki piece i've never i've never seen this before i have no idea what that is the boat's starting to look pretty good i mean we got some work to do back here because this looks very plain but once we put like the rails on put the main like housing like uh, obviously in the center here we're gonna have like a slightly elevated um building probably probably in the center and then we're gonna have a spot back here i think for either animals like that because our animals can't stay in the back our llama keeps like magically disappearing from these waves so all of a sudden i'll see him what is happening there okay um i'll see him do the little jitter that that boat just did and he'll be like out of the fence so we need to lift him out of the waves and we definitely need to continue this but it's taking its time this is so many materials several song filled hours later i'm missing six planks just kidding i'm missing a lot of planks i have got this top part almost completely upgraded but i have not done the front at all i have not gone ahead and done the back none of the underneath is done yet there's so much left to do but i do the floors done i do have it all supported underneath i've added a little walkway out the side i haven't done that side yet but we're all completely shark proof everything is fortified now except for like these little walkways here which i'm not all right the water okay yeah. we're in some some crazy waves i'm not too concerned with this we'll upgrade this and we'll fortify it later i'm not worried now for now we are shark proof like i said he's chewing away these ones no big deal these waves can like screw it off so we've got a little bit of biofuel going this tank's almost full this one's a little under half the engines are all good I've added a second biofuel tank here so we can start making more. We've got tons of space here. Now, I don't know if it's gonna stay like this. I just kind of put it down for now so we have like space for everything. We can see what we have. Um, what my plan is, as we get going, like say it's things like this battery charger, we need to put it somewhere that's like more permanent. So my thought is we'll run a pipe across the top of here down the center of these beams and we can put walls here or whatever we want. But that way, like if we want like a charging station to be here, we can make a little spot for it, run the pipe down, and, and away we go. Then I've gone ahead and I've made a small storage room. Uh, it needs a lot of work, not a lot of love, and it's very empty. But you can see all these are full of palm leaves. This is all full of plastic. Uh, these are roped in plastic. We've got a little bit of scrap, uh, some stones, and a bit of wood, which I'm gonna use right now to upgrade all this stuff. 
it's a lot we've got tons to do but i've actually taken several several hours just farming resources for this and it's, it's been a long time actually uh, i've gone ahead and i've moved our crop plot stuff all up here so i have a small tree farm going it's an interesting island um i've made more grass plots up here and you can see that our, our llama is missing he uh, got caught by a wave and i don't know where he went so he's he's gone um, but I do want to put like some more grass up here so we can get more animals. I don't know where I want to put it permanently yet, but for now it's there. I've also gone ahead and I've added the engine controls. So now we can just turn this on and, and away we go. They're all, they're all running and moving. So I don't have to go underneath for any reason, which is awesome. The only thing is the anchor doesn't seem to work. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a different anchor we have to get that we haven't discovered yet. But the anchor doesn't seem to work based on those controls, so we got to do that. Uh, we've also got to go ahead and we have to make some beehives, which I'll do between episodes. Uh, we've got enough to make two. I think I got 30 jars, so we can do that, which will give us biofuel. And I found a second tiki mask. I don't know what these are about, but we've got we've got two of them. So I don't know the point of them, but, but we've got them. And at this point, guys, we are free floating towards the island i've actually gone past it already once um just because i'm trying to get all these resources and i want to do this so that way i'm not moving too far in the content and then not getting the thing built because i really want to have the boat build before we get to the end but it's kind of very easy to get to the different islands once you've got you know basic resources so i'll do my best for that but we're going to free float to this island and that's where i'm going to call us for today i'm going to free float the rest of the way there Next episode, we will arrive at the Biodome, and we will start continuing on the story. For now, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any suggestions on what we can build and we can add, uh, I want to do like a cabin and stuff up here for all these things. Like, this is nowhere near being done yet. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked, hit that like button. And as always, I'll see you next time.